Hi, it's Nick Jervis and here's the first WordPress guide just showing you around the WordPress dashboard and this is what you'll find when you log in. These are the first things you'll see. Um, so you have some general notices here. Now you don't need to really worry about what's on this page. Um, let me talk you through the setup. So the first thing we come to on the left is posts and posts are your blog posts. So these will what, what will appear on slash blog, um, articles you add and posts and you can click on posts and all posts and you can see what's under here. There's a, a just the first entry, which you could change. You can add it and edit, um, and just show you how easy it is to go into them. You can do quick edit, or you just click on it to go into it. And there you have your content. Now there's two ways you can view your content. You can use text, which is just seeing it as it is. Then you could use visual. Um, and visual gives you, makes it easy for you to add links in the copy by highlighting what you want to, to link then clicking on the insert link and putting the uh, URL that you want to add and then enter that and it will be there. Um, you can add subheadings. So if you're doing content um, and you want to add a, a subheading here, this might be a heading two style. You do that, this will be normal content. And then if you wanted to add a heading three, these are just uh, sort of subheadings. So as you go down your page, you should have a heading, which is your H1 tag, which is what appears at the top. Then you have a H2 for subheadings. And then if you have headings beneath that on a longer article, you'd use heading three. Um, so that's how you would use the blogs. If you then wanted to update that, and I will do so that you can see, you click update. And then one of the key things with using WordPress is it's, it's always much easier to log in and see your page like this. But then if you want to um, see it live if, without going back and forwards, if you hover over, if you press the control key and then click on your mouse view post it opens up in the tab next to it and so you can see the post there you see that's your h2 and that's your h3 tag um, it's currently uncategorized and it's always worth with posts categorizing them um, so you might have uh, sort of a commercial property po uh, category construction category etc so you have a category for all of your key areas of content of legal services and when you update those so if i make this commercial property Add that as a new category there's no parent category for, I did a general property one and then remove the uncategorized you don't really want anything in there and update that then when you go here you'll see the category has been updated um, now that's post that's your blog entries now your main pages are all under the pages tab so these are your services about pages contact page every other page in there they work in exactly the same way that you click on about, you can see visual, you can see text. Um, and so you can quickly go between the two. If you just want to change some content, um, you can do that within either window. Um, I always recommend with images that you right embed them. Um, and if you click on the edit button there, you'll see how easy that is to do. You can choose right and you choose the, the size of the image that you want. You can link that image somewhere if you want to. You can link to the media file, i.e. the picture, so they see that in a separate browser. Um, so you can do whatever you want with the image. Always worth putting in alternative text because that's what the search engines read to um, review this site. Now, if you when you add an image, if you click to the text button, um, what you'll what you should also do is is as some search engines read the alt tag, some search en engines read the title tag, um, and WordPress doesn't do this bit automatically. So you need to, I copy that, paste it in. So you've now got two alt tags change that to a title tag um, and then what you're giving here is a chance for Google whenever the name the title tag you put in is searched for Google uh, and the other search engines to index this picture so that it adds to your chances of being found for what you're looking for whenever you make a change click update um, and as I say if you want to see it hold the control key press view page and it will open in the next browser and when you hover over here you'll see that's the alt and title tag I put in and so you have to put both because otherwise they won't show up so that's how easy it is to uh, to make content and that's the, the starting point really just to show you your way around it you also have your media library which is all of your images um, so you can see all the images that you've uploaded um, testimonials is a separate category that I've added as a testimonial database um, your contact is your contact form so that, that has your fields there uh, and there's all sorts of other bits and pieces which for the initial starting point you really don't need to know about if you've got a WordPress site and you're just looking to change content 
then you've now got the ability to do that. Um, and I'll come back with different sections on each of the other sections in due course. But there's your, your starter for 10. Any further questions, please come back to me.